Vincenzo Schifo is considered one of the most talented attacking midfielders of the 1980s and 1990s. Nicknamed Little Pelé, he was a highly creative playmaker, widely regarded as one of the best Belgian players of all time. Schieffer made his debut for the Belgian national team in 1984, and went on to earn a remarkable 84 caps, scoring 18 goals in the process. Despite his numerous individual accolades, Schieffer's greatest achievement with the national team came in the form of the 1986 FIFA World Cup, where Belgium finished fourth, a record-breaking accomplishment for the nation. Over the course of his club career, Schifo played for several high-profile teams, including Anderlecht, Ider Nazionale, Ers Monaco, and Torino. With Anderlecht, Schifo made a total of 223 appearances, scoring 52 goals. With Les Mauves et Blancs he won four Belgian League titles, the Belgian Super Cup and the Belgian League Cup. Moreover, he won the League One with Monaco, and the Coppa Italia with Torino. Individually, Schifo won the Belgian Golden Shoe in 1984 and was nominated four times for the Ballon d'Or. He was named the 1986 FIFA World Cup Best Young Player and was included in the 1990 FIFA World Cup All-Star Team. Schifo was a versatile and creative midfielder, known for his technical ability and exceptional vision. Often playing as a number 10 in the attacking midfielder position, he could also operate it as a deep-lying playmaker or on the right flank. Highly regarded for his technical skills and balance, he was praised for his dribbling and passing abilities, and possessed a powerful and accurate shot from distance. On the other hand, Chifo was criticized for his poor defensive work rate, introverted character, and occasional selfishness on the ball. Mondornico, his coach at Torino, said of him, he was never decisive. He plays well when the team plays well, but very poorly when the opposite happens. It's typical of someone with a weak personality. Despite these flaws, Schifo is still considered one of the greatest Belgian players ever, drawing comparisons to other great number 10s of the past, such as Gianni Rivera, Giancarlo Antonioni, and his idol Michel Platini. And so Schifo starts the game at age 21. His best attributes are technique and vision, in which he has 18. He has 17 in first touch, long shots and passing, and 16 in dribbling, flair, and agility. Moreover, he has very good 15 in significant attributes such as free kick taking, penalty taking, acceleration, and balance. His personality is fairly ambitious, and the media description is midfield orchestrator. Schifo's natural positions are central midfielder, and central attacking midfielder, while he's competent as right midfielder. His natural foot is the right, the left foot is fairly strong. The player traits are shoots from distance, dictates tempo, tries to play way out of trouble, and runs with ball often. Schifo has a potential ability of 174. His main strengths are passing, technique, long shots, and vision, while his weaknesses are adaptability and pressure. Some of the best roles in which he can be used are advanced playmaker, deep-lying playmaker, roaming playmaker, and attacking midfielder. After five seasons, Schifo has not reached his full potential, standing at 167 out of 174. In the technical attributes, he has 16 dribbling, and 17 first touch, passing, and technique. He also has a good 14 in corners and crossing, 15 free kick taking, 14 heading, 17 long shots, and 15 penalty taking. In mental attributes, he has 13 anticipation, 15 composure, 14 decisions, 16 determination and flair, 14 off the ball, 13 teamwork, and an excellent 18 vision. Regarding the physicals, he has a good 15 acceleration and 16 agility. Also, he has good balance and pace, having 15 in both attributes. In the advanced playmaker role, with attack duty, Shifo achieves a score of 13.81 as weighted average. And so Shifo is a great midfield playmaker, possessing excellent technical abilities and impressive vision. He has a natural ability to dictate the tempo of play, and can also score some goals thanks to his fantastic long-range shooting and good heading ability. However, he may face some challenges with adaptability, and may struggle in high-pressure situations, which could decrease his overall performance and contribution to the team. For all these reasons, the FML rating is 4 out of 5, and the advice is, sign him if you need an excellent midfield orchestrator, who is also good at long shots. Thank you for watching. 
Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more content like this one.